Hello friends, Josh Steffler here with WeAreChangeVictoria.org. Uh, I am on day 23 of my Tangy Tangerine project. Been drinking it every day. It's been giving me a massive boost in energy, boosted my mood. Uh, I'll probably buy more. I, I've been feeling really good taking it. Whether it's psychosomatic or not, I'll, I'll take the good feelings. Now I wanted to talk about the recent terror plot in Victoria. Uh, I'm pretty sure by now everybody knows the, the idea. Two people uh, pressure cooker bombs on the legislature planning on blowing up uh, people on Canada Day. Now the RCMP has said, and I believe them, that they were in complete control the entire time, that the bombs were inert, and that nobody was in danger at any time. So what, but what does that mean then, that the RCMP was in control the entire time? Um, were they leading these people on? Were they just finding patsies ready to, ready to bomb something, and so they, they set it up? Is it a coincidence that CSIS and RCMP have been under fire for domestic spying and then here comes the feel-good story about how they kept us safe and protected us, but they didn't really keep us safe because they, the bombs weren't bombs at all, they were inert, they were props. So. Recently, CFAX has adopted this story. Of course, CFAX 1070 is our local talk radio show. It's easy for people to get on there and talk, so I encourage you to listen and call in. Their number is star 1070 on your cell phone or 250-386-1161. And if you listen to them, call in and challenge them on their propaganda how they had a female reporter on there talking about how we may need to monitor the purchase of pressure cookers now because these are these are terrorist weapons and a running theme was that we may need to give up some of our liberties to be secure in this post 9-11 world that uh Terrorism has hit close to home, and we were lucky. We were lucky. I am so glad that no one was hurt. So glad. But I encourage you to look a little deeper beyond what the TV and the newspaper says. Um, I don't know what happened. I'm not going to say that this was definitely a false flag terror attack, but it has a lot of similar fingerprints of these terror, false flag terror attacks. What, what was the RCMP doing letting these people place the bombs and then letting them get back to Abbotsford? Uh, Victoria, to get to Victoria from Abbotsford, you need to take a ferry, and that's a two-hour ride. So they had to come from Abbotsford, take the ferry, drop those pressure cookers off, then get back. They got back at two. There's all sorts of cameras and footage of the legislature grounds, so we should have video footage of this. I don't know why it's, it's not being released to the public. Well, it's probably not being released because they don't want to jeopardize the the trial. But, um... Something's not right about this. Something's not right. These guys... Paul... Whatever the dude's name is. I can't remember right now. They seem like patsies. Like fall guys. And then also I heard that uh, the landlord said that they were picked up repeatedly by somebody in a black truck. Who's in that black truck? The RCMP knows. 
Now, is it convenient that people start, are starting to get angry and upset that their government is spying on them, that the RCMP and CSIS are reading our emails, tagging our phone calls, monitoring what we do on social networks, on, on our computers, and that this Big Brother scenario, surveillance network is being revealed and then there's the feel-good story that they saved us they rescued us thank goodness for these guys well I'm not convinced that you know this was a false flag but I'm not convinced that it wasn't we should be questioning. We should be digging deeper. There's lots of us in We Are Change Victoria and in the kind of the alternative media network that surrounds all of us activists in, in Canada and the United States that we should be able to dig up some stuff and find out the truth about this. Because it'll be a a long time before the truth comes out. We, the RCMP have been caught lying. CSIS, we, CSIS has been caught lying. CSIS, the, one of the former directors has even, from CSIS has even said that, you know, Canada has been infiltrated. A lot of our politicians are, uh, compromised to foreign entities. And then, okay, so with with this terrorist plot, then they drop the names Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, these people had been radical, self-radicalized, which is a new term, never heard that before, to an Al-Qaeda ideology. But yet they've shown nothing to link them to Al-Qaeda whatsoever. Yes, the guy converted to Muslim, but that doesn't or Islam. That doesn't mean that he converted to Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda is the CIA creation. So, governments do sponsor terror attacks, and I'm not saying the BC government did, I'm not saying the Canadian government did, I'm not saying the RCMP or CSIS did, but they may have facilitated they may have let this happen to gain the benefits and the public relation uh, benefits from this. So keep digging, call into CFAX, write letters to your editor, write the public uh, safety minister, Vic Taves, um, the federal one, write the provincial public safety minister. I'm not sure who that is with the recent cabinet change here, but um, yeah, find us online, wearechangevictoria.org, subscribe to the channel, find us on Facebook, and join the conversation. My name is Josh Steffler. Be safe and be free.